What's up, y'all? So, trying to get up on this thing here. And, uh, trying to do some live split screen. And, uh, Austin. You ain't watching yet, are you? Or anybody else who wants to go live with me. Um, I'm about to, uh, accept other people. Because, uh, my other friend, uh, he, uh, he ain't ready to roll, it doesn't seem like. So, I'm trying to give you a call right now, Austin. You got, like, so many profiles, I'm not for sure who, which one to call. Hey, are you watching right now, Austin? I got, I see one up on there. I'm trying to give you a call, Austin. Not for sure. I don't know whether or not it's Leonard who can see me, but I, I'm trying to, uh, I tried to invite Leonard to a split screen. And now, uh, I don't know, man. So, who, who watching? What's up? We're going to do a split screen. Hey, who all's on here wants to do a split screen conversation? We're going to talk about how to uh, make the world a better place. I tried to bring on a friend of mine named Leonard. And Leonard, if you're watching, let me see if uh, I can make you available here this way. I got two people. I just dropped them. Uh, request allow viewers. Yeah, add viewers to be in your no viewers yet. Invite friends. Leonard invited you again. I don't know if it's going to work. We're going to try it. Trying to figure out how to make this work with just whoever, you know, to get it started. And uh, that's what we're going to do. Pushing all kinds of crazy buttons. Add viewers. Search. Share live video, invite friends, Austin's invited, Leonard's invited. Austin was just watching a minute ago. You know, uh, Joe Rogan, his first podcast, if you watch it, He's got, he's got, uh, the first 45 minutes, dude ain't even got no audio. Maybe it's 15, 20, I don't remember. It's a while. He, he's, he's rolling with no audio for a while, trying to figure out how to make his thing work. And me, you know, uh, I don't know why my buddy uh, Leonard is off. Maybe his phone went dead. I got him here. Leonard. That's why I think it's probably better to do this stuff. He answered. Hey, man. 
Hi. Right. What's up, man? Is your, is your phone dead or what, man? Uh, I'm live on Facebook, uh, on my Facebook, but uh, I got you on my other phone. Is he gonna hop on? I heard some bleep 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 calling him on messenger. Are you watching right now, man? Let's see what happened here. Black friends. I done invited you, bro. Let's see how we gonna make this work. Add viewer. Are you watching me? I'm gonna call you back. Man. Hey, man. Go to my Facebook page and find my live broadcast and then uh, start watching it. And I think I can add you split screen that way. Dang man, I got you. I got you right here, man. See, hey, weird question, but were you around? Oh wait, I got somebody sending me a message here. I don't need to talk to Stacy right now. Hey, uh, so you can see yourself on Facebook Live right there on my phone, right? Can you see it? Yeah. Yeah. So, like, but I got you on my second phone. You see that? Okay. So, try, I'm going to try to hang up with you right now. But I want you to go to my main Facebook page. And try to find my live broadcast that I'm streaming. You see what I'm saying? And then try to try to try to watch that. And then I think once you're in that, I can split screen you. And then we're on. Like Donkey Kong. Alright. Uh, everything all right? Yeah, well, I'm watching fire. Oh, Let's okay. Start. Okay, cool. So, what I want you to do is, uh, we're going to hang up, and I want you to go to my main Facebook page, find my main number one page, and then, and then try to see if you can see where it shows I'm streaming live, and then watch. Watch that, and then I think inside there, you can request... Or accept the request I sent you so that you can join in and split screen with me on my page. Does that make sense? Yeah. Alright, so that's what we got to do, man, to make this work. Alright, so I'm going to hang up. You're going to go to my main page and uh, and, then, and then find my live stream that you're on right now. Alright? Rate the quality of this call. It's alright. I'll get a five star. Now I'm trying to figure this stuff out, y'all. I got one of my buddies from, uh, dang dude, this dude I've known since, uh, I've known this dude since middle school and high school. So that must have been, hmm, you know, this was, uh, prior to the Y2K. You know what I'm saying? Anyway. 
he about to come on here in a second. Hopefully, if we can get the show on the road. We're going to talk about things uh, in general uh, on how to make the world a better place. I want to hear his story on how he thinks, what ideas he has as far as how to make the world a better place. That's what we're going to talk about. What has he learned from his perspective? So we're trying to bring on my buddy. And remember, uh, like that podcast host, Joe Rogan, you know, I ain't, I ain't thinking I'm Joe Rogan, you know what I mean? But I do know that Joe Rogan started his first podcast live with no audio for 45 minutes, I think. So, you know, we're just rolling with it, man. We're just playing around, you know. We're just playing around, having some fun. Let's see if he's in here now. Invite friends. Are you watching Austin Leonard? I can't tell who it is that's up there. It doesn't show. Let's see. Request to be in your broadcast. Allow viewers. You can add them at any point. Share live video. Invite friends. Hmm. Trying to figure this out. Can you see me, Leonard? Hmm. Shows you're invited. Hmm. I'll call you back. Hi, man. Where you at, Woody? I'm over here, Woody. These technical difficulties we got going on here tonight, ladies and gentlemen, are extraordinary extreme challenges. What you doing? Taking a piss? Hey man, what's up? Weird, dude. Why does it gotta be so complicated? Weird. We gonna see, maybe he's gonna hop on over here and he's gonna be split screening with us. says he's on here it says he's active I sent him a request uh yeah so like I was the one that helped blow the cover off all that you know and uh, that's part of like my story that I got to contribute for the group you know um but yeah so like nobody wanted to pay attention to her cause they was like Mm, you know, Danger Will Robinson, and I'm like asking questions, and leadership's like, mm, don't ask, don't tell, you know, hey, just leave it be. And I dig into it and uh, talk to another member, yada yada. And before I know it, I'm up again, I'm up asking that same leader there that you mentioned. And, Two days later, he was resigning, you know, and he uh, he spilt the beans because I was getting close. I got close to him, and yeah, I was the one, man. I I was the one that uh, 
got in on that. All right, I'm trying to figure out, answer questions, and uh, talk to some people here. I don't know if we're going to be able to go live today, ladies and gentlemen, because uh, with split screen anyway, just me right here, I'm rocking it in the house. I got some props that I was going to show, you know, uh, on some of the things on how I think, I, you know, we can work together to make the world a better place. And I wanted to hear what my friend had to share in his perspective. And, uh, you know, eventually I'm going to figure out how to put this stuff on uh, YouTube and a podcast. This is me just kind of breaking the ice, getting it going, you know what I mean? And uh, uh, it says here he's here. Let me see here. I don't know, man. I don't know if this is going to work like I want. But like I said, you know, remember, uh, you know, you, when you're going to plant a tree, it's a little seed. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, I got, I got an idea. I got an idea, man. And I know what we're going to do, man. Go ahead. Go ahead and accept this video. And uh, we're just going to do what we can do right now. You know what I mean? Yeah, just go ahead and accept this video. I'm going to have you on here. We're going to be chatting. But I'm going to be doing live with you on my secondary phone for now. You know what I mean? Can you see my video request? Can you hear me? Leonard. Yeah, what's up? Go, go to... I'm barely hearing you. I haven't even turned my volume all the way up. Turn your volume up, man. Take... Requ I'm requesting the video. All the way Let's go, let's go to video. I said, uh, I'm requesting a video call. Hey, I'm going to hang up and call you on video. This ain't easy, man. Alright. I think it's going to work this time. I think it's going to work. <gasps> oh, oh. What's up, what's up? Hey, man. Can you hear me now? Alright, so here's here's what we're gonna do, man. Uh we we're gonna we're gonna do two two phones at the same time. Alright. Because uh because this ain't working like I thought. Alright. You're telling me. <laughs> We've been going crazy trying to get each other on the phone here, man. Yeah. Maybe we're going to drop Facebook call. I'm going to call him. Man, this ain't easy, dude. I don't know why this is so tough. Unfortunately, the call to Leonard was dropped. I thought you were close to it. That's another question there. Oh boy. Let's see what we got going on over here. Two screens. We're going to talk about how to make the world a better place, but uh, we just going to go ahead and have to kick it down into a lower gear, y'all. All y'all's watching. 
I'm going to figure this stuff out. I got every Sunday evening to dedicate towards making this better. And this is just my first one. So even though I'm experiencing technical difficulty. And my guest speaker is getting to the point where I don't think, you know. I think he's getting tired of trying to figure this out. Let me see here. I got this message from this. Yeah. Yeah, that. Hold up. I'm working on two messages at the same time. Yeah, her story was similar, which is strange. When I was reading it, I was thinking to myself, and I was like, man, is this the same person? And then, I, you know, I knew that it wasn't. And I remembered my experience. I was pretty close to it, you know, because nobody wanted to dig into it and find out why this person needed help. And my curious uh, curiosity killing the cat, innocent, naive young boy that uh, I am at times was like, hey, what's up with this? And uh, people was like, hey, don't rock the boat. Don't rock the boat, baby. You know, you rock the boat, you might tip the boat over. And uh, so they were like, don't say nothing. You know what I mean? Just let it be. And I'm like, let it be. Hey, this is my friend, yo. And uh, before I knew it, I was getting an apology from the leadership because they was like, oh, snap. I think I got that. I didn't even get that sent out. Man, I got that on live, but it didn't record. All right, so... Here's what we're going to have to do, ladies and gentlemen, because I've been trying to bring in some people here. And uh, I've been doing this sharing the live video. Let me see if I'm going to bring in, like, somebody just out the cuff. Oh, let's see here, Stacy, Stacy. Let's see if we can bring in you, Stacy, at last minute. Because I ain't got too much more time. The kids are going to have to end up going to sleep. And uh, let's see what happened here. Who else, who, who all wants to come on? And be a part of what I'm doing right now. I am trying to figure out how to do this. Facebook Live split screen. I'm just going to start spitting out some invites. Don't know if y'all are watching. Uh, I'm going to give Stacy a call. Tell her about it. And, uh, I'm going to send out some invites, man. Because I'm trying you know, at least get this thing at working. You know what I mean? And then go from there. Uh, she didn't answer. I try to give her a call. Uh, she probably busy, I guess. Anyway, I'm gonna send out some invites to y'all. I'm shooting out a bunch of them to a bunch of y'all, and I'm gonna see how to figure out how to get this split screen to work. And then eventually, you know, I'm gonna be doing this uh, every week on Sundays to get rolling, and uh, and after that, you know, that's how it goes. Let's see, viewers, uh, doesn't show who all is watching, just shows, hey y'all, y'all want to be up in, up in the split screen, because, hey, John, Junior John, hey man, hop on in here, man, uh, hop on in here, Junior John, and uh, come on in, let's do it, it's you and me, man, come on in, I'm bringing you in, John, you're adding, except Let's roll with it, man. Let's, let's get a couple minutes up in here and uh, knock this out for the evening before I got to put the kids to sleep. And uh, we're going to be doing this every... Uh, John, come on, man. Come on in. We're going to be doing this uh, every Sunday. We're going to be talking about what we got to do to make the world a better place. Come on in, John. Let's talk. You're invited. You are added. You are watching. Go ahead and come on in, buddy. Water is fine. Let's do it. Can you see me now? Can you hear me now? Uh, I was watching a game right now. Dang, man. Come on, give me five minutes, man. I'm just trying to figure out how to get this split screen to work. Come on, man. Come on. Hey, come on, add me in. I'll watch the game with you, dude. Let's watch the game. What are you watching, hockey? What you watching, John? 
No answer from live video guest. Mm. John's watching a game, man. Anyway, so kind of an upset evening. I did what I could. I've put my heart in for the past mm, couple hours, you know, uh, trying to bring some people in. I guess I can do another last minute <clears throat> approach. Who wants to come in just for a minute? Help me get this uh, live thing figured out. You know, I just want to get another step ahead. I've figured out some stuff this week, but I'm going to figure out more uh, as we go on. So I'm going to shoot out some invites and uh, see see if y'all want to come on in. And we'll see who's going to come on in here right now. I'm just going to start shooting out all kinds of crazy invites to people. I'm going to send it out to all y'all, man. You come on in if you want. And uh, here in about five minutes, I'm going to hang up. Bill Root, uh, come on, man. All right, let's see what happens. I'm going to send them all out. Invite, invite. I got a minute. It's a commercial. Well, come on in, man. Come on in. Approve. Approve. Come on. Add. All right, John. It's you and me, man. We on it, dude. You got a commercial going on. All right. I right, says it's adding. Are you coming in? Mm. Oh, it's working! Ah! I wasn't trying to burp when it started, though. That was a you know opportunistic. Hey, don't forget. Hey, man, it's, I got it. I got it working, dude. Third time's a charm, you know. Right. Uh, what you doing? Uh, watching the Vegas Knights game versus uh, I think that's uh, Dallas, Texas. Tell me about it, man. Tell me about it, man. What you got? Well, we're down by one, and it's going on the next quarter, starting up right now. Yeah, man. Is that what you got going on, man? Yeah. Well, I've been smoking my wax. It's uh, where does I put that? I got mine from Washington. I got some. Uh, I, I picked up at the smoke shop. I picked up at the smoke shop the other day some CBD, man. Oh, I got a lot of CBD. Man, I want to get me a vape pen, bro. Yeah, they're worth it. Hey, man, I, I'm a, I got I got the oil, you know. So I'm like, what do I got to do, you know? My beer mug's better. Yeah, I can see you got that. What you got, man? Soaking wet dog in the house. So what's up, what's up, man? What's up, what's up? You got to poke your weed in the electric way. It's a lot easier. Dipper. Hey, man. Look at it. You know who Paul, you know who Paul Stamets is? Nope, probably not. It's mushroom. It's the mushroom dude, man. Yeah, Come on, no man. names. <laughs> <laughs> I can grow them, but I don't know who wrote books. Oh. <laughs> Always make sure you have a spit can right there. <laughs> Wait, you mean... You mean one of these? Yep. Yep. That's always got to be right next to me. <laughs> oh, I got to figure out where beer is. <clears throat> Not that fridge. Go check the other fridge. I got three, two, three refrigerators to choose from. 2020, oh, man. Oh, shit. 2020. No Look, there's no beer in this fridge either. No, no. Matt. You're watching one of my first split screens. Actually, it is the first split screen. And you got on here a king of the gold mining community. His name is Junior. John Stephen Mc... How do you say your last name? Uh, it's a hard one. It's McGrordy. Nice. Mc McGrordy. Can't, can't beat that box of beer right there. No. Dude, you got some of that alien beer still, huh? What's that? You got some of that alien beer still, huh? Yeah. I bought two cases just so I could save one and, you know, not open the case ever. Are you are you are you popping the top on the alien beer right now? Oh hell no, I'm saving those. 
I, d- I do have a 24 pack of empty cans that I could sell. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, they did some stuff, man. They storm storm area 51, bro. No, no, nobody showed up to that shit. I went out there. There was nobody there. There was like 16 people. That was nothing. It was kind of sad. 16. Kind of sad. There was sad. a lot of hype. Yeah. Sounds like there was a lot of hype. Yeah. They did have a small concert thing out at uh, one of the cities just before you get to Area 51. But yeah, that was just like a, a concert party that didn't ever leave the grounds of the concert. Yeah, see uh, that that's not even that's like that's like out of the park sub, right. you know. So th- yeah. there were like a thousand or so people there for the party, but ah. out of the people that were there for the party, about sixteen to thirty actually showed up at the gates to do anything. And yeah. they were all there just to film and say they was there, right? Yeah. 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 I got a YouTube channel. Here I am. Yeah, I saw that. I don't know if I've gotten yeah. around to YouTube to check out your channel and actually follow it but you should put a link oh, down yeah. no my my youtube channel uh, yeah i was talking Why'd about them white mine's a whole nother subject oh yeah that's not good <laughs> Make sure what's up water. matthew you still you ain't on here anymore i got brian Bitterman's watching. Brian Bitterman, I think you mentioned some stuff before about some mushrooms. And we were just on here chatting about uh, fungus. Where'd you put it? And about, uh, you know, how to make the world a better place. And uh, this is my buddy John. He's from the mining community. And, you know, we were showing uh, some of the products that we, uh, you know, we handling with. You know, this is just something I picked up at the smoke shop. 21 and older CBD hemp. And John, you know, he's into the um, he's in the cannabis industry, mining industry, mushroom, you know, mycology, and uh, you know that's part of health and wellness as far as what you know what what I think you know we need. What I what I know, John, you know, I think John knows that we need you know and uh, for life. And of course, we're having a beer, man. We're just enjoying Sunday. I got my Corona Extra. Uh-oh. Uh, then I got my mug, you know. Hey, no, it's my wife that likes the Corona. I mean, me, I've been drinking this natural ice, which is weird. Yeah, I'm drinking uh, Bud Light Platinum. Dude, that's what my mom likes. That stuff, that stuff, that stuff is killer, man. If you get your headset, you'll be able to hear better, and they'll be able to hear you better. For real? Yep. Uh, I'm gonna get one, man. Get a haircut, Katie. You don't have a headset? No. Oh, your phone didn't come with one. Uh, I've probably already lost it. Man, I got two toddlers, bro. Yeah, yeah. Good point. Yeah, oh man, the dog like, got on the fucking grass. Stuff yeah. gets lost, broke. You know. Mm-hmm. That's just how it works. Trump 2020. That's where it's at. I got uh, I got Trump 20. I got Trump 2016 stickers. Nice. Let me see if I hold on. I'll be right back. Give me one second. Yeah, I got uh, I got some Trump 2016 for Rizzle up in my uh, personal file just because I thought it was cool, you know. I think he's Ugh. amazing, you know, he's like a groundbreaking guy, you know. Right. He's really breaking the mold, you know. Yeah, I'm definitely a Trump supporter. Even my PlayStation is covered in Trump. I'll show you my PlayStation controller. I'm just like anti-system, you know, and I think that's where right? people don't realize, dude. Like Trump like, is pretty much, he, he's kind of anti-government in a way, but he's more anti-bad government rather than anti-government. Well, you know, the other thing is, too, he's just trying to do the best he can. And, you know, he's a human and, like, you know, he's got his own personal desires and he wants to, you know, have his, you know, his name and his brand and history. And, and you know, he's got his own flaws. And so I think that's hard for people to, like, take a, pic, take, take a look at the bigger picture of him. You know what I mean? Right. But I think people try to exploit that at the same time to make him look like place. the person that he is, you know? It, right. Which is a which is a flawed human, you know. 
Well, one of the best things about the law of being human is the law of replication. Ah. Uh, how's that work? Well, you got to replicate. Yeah, you got to replicate. So there's like a rule, right? Right. Which is why the Bible says... The one of, the Bible hey, you shut up, wife. <laughs> <laughs> We were talking about the Bible, and you said something, but then I told you to shut up, wife. Which, if you read the Bible, the Bible says, shut up, wife. <laughs> Watch out. Ah, Here comes ah, the oh, oh, shit. Oh, I smelled my comes. fucking beard. Jesus Christ. Yep. Oh, my God. That was cold. Here comes <sighs> the smack, man. No, just the cold beer on a kidney. <laughs> <laughs> Hey man, yeah, that, that was whole cold. telling people that whole telling people to shut up thing that's just like you know, that don't work, you know, right? Yeah, it don't work. I think Paul, you know, he was just trying to do the best he could, you know, just like Trump, you know what I mean? Yep, yeah, Paul, you know, he's just trying to do the best he can, but you can't tell women to shut up. That's you know, that's just you know, part of my language. That's fucked up, right? I was just fucking around. <laughs> That's why the, well, the wife knew I was fucking around. That's why she got me with the cold beer. Hey, yeah, man. I knew it was coming, too. I was like, he's coming now. Hey, I poke, poke at her as much as I can. She pokes at me as much as I can. You can't be married for like 21 years without being able to poke each other back and forth. Damn. You got twice what I got, bro. I got nine years, man. Yeah. Yeah, we got Dang, married right 21? out of high school. Damn. Damn, 21. Oh, hey, yeah. smoke break. Mm -hmm. <laughs> smoke them if you got them. No, I, I, uh, here's the plug for the program. Golly Green CBD, whole, uh, full spectrum, full uh, CBD hemp oil. Mm -hmm. Also oh, I can't in see the if sack. there's any wax in there. Mm. Nope. And if you it's like empty. competitive brands... The CBD American Shaman. That's a good one, too. Yeah. Uh, I think American Shaman has a shop here right down the street from my house in Vegas. Oh, they got, like, a franchise, bro. They, they're, right. like, all over the place, man. I did not know that they yeah. had shops everywhere, though. That's kind of cool. Yeah, that's cool, man. Good on them, dude. Hey, and they got a pretty clean setup, too. I like. I visited one of the shops in the Dallas area. So I got this uh, this bottle. You know, it's it's pretty good, but, you know, they're paying, they're charging top dollar, but, you know, you got to, you know, you know what I mean? You, right. you're, in a, you're in a franchise. This headset sucks compared to my other one. I can hardly hear ever. No, that's just your head. You're right. I got, I got it in the wrong ear. <laughs> yeah, there we go. I can hear now. <laughs> can you hear me now? Oh, yeah, much better. You see, I have one ear that's half deaf, and the other one here is great. But this is my shooting ear over here, so it, it's you know, a little bit more deaf. Your shooting ear? How yep. does that work? Well, when you shoot guns, that's loud. I don't wear earplugs. <laughs> so you just, wear, you just wear one earplug in the left, and then you <coughs> leave open the right? <laughs> no, I'd have to remember to carry a fucking earplug. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Damn. You yeah, all right, man? Yeah. Wax will make you cough. That's why I had to uh, grab my mic there. I didn't want to deafen anybody more, more than I already did. <laughs> <coughs> I tried, I tried, I tried to vape once, man, and, uh, yeah, I coughed, she said, the per the person who let me try it, they was like, you're gonna cough, and, uh, I tried not to cough, but, uh, I ended up coughing. Stupid ass hat off. Had to change my hat. 
What you put on? What you got? You got a Trump hat? Change my hat. I like my Trump hat. I got an oil field camo hat, bro. There we go. This is called uh, Genesis Energy. That's who I hold petroleum for in the uh, Permian Basin. Hmm. Yeah, man. <laughs> oil, oil field camo. They got like jack pumps and tubes, and pipe wrenches. Looks like camo. Hmm. I don't wear a lot of camo anymore. This game's not going yeah, well, too great. Ma- well, imagine how I feel in Massachusetts wearing camo. <laughs> At least it's green there. <laughs> hey, no, it's really green. It's super green. Super green. I love the green. Yeah, I don't. I can't find anything in the green. The green covers everything, including all the you know, minerals on the ground that I want to see the color of to figure out where I'm going. Right. Are, are you still watching that game? Yeah. Well, that that was a commercial I got stuck staring at. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so tell me again. Tell me again. Who's playing? Uh, Vegas uh, is playing uh, Dallas. Hockey, Dallas, Texas. Right? What's that? Uh, the Stars. Yeah, hockey. Yeah. I, I don't watch yeah, any sport but hockey you know, and I guess some hawker. Hawker? Hawker. Hawker. Fuck. I meant soccer. <laughs> hey, man. Yeah. Ho- Hawker is when you kick the puck, right? <laughs> yeah, you, you get to see a lot of that in the game of uh, hockey there. Yeah, there's no sticks. All you got is the kick. I got something. I can't get anybody to try this with me. What is it? Oh, that looks like a hot sauce. I tried this hot sauce one time, and I swear to you that it was the tip of the toothpick, and I was an in, I was in an agonizing pain, unbearable experience. <laughs> yeah, unbearable. I think that's what this stuff would be, because uh, it probably is. I'm not trying it on anything without like at least a toothpick, but I'm yeah, also not trying I mean, it by I, myself. I have to have somebody that's going to try it at the same time as I am, or a group of people that's going to try it at the same time as I am. Because the bottle's trash after it's open. I'm not going to open it again to eat it. No, that's not open, Katie. Oh, sorry, wife. (laughs) Yeah, man, a toothpick. Right. Which would be nice to, you know, try it and just, just to see who can take the higher heat levels and who just really can't. Yeah, so, well, I saw this dude, and uh, and he took me to his house about, I don't know, close to 20 years ago, and his dad was a missionary, and uh, he had traveled all over Mexico and Latin America, and every time he traveled, he brought in a bottle of hot sauce, and so mm-hmm. his dad, you know, had, like, the walls lined with bottles of hot sauce, like you'd see with people who, like, drink all kinds of beers or whatever, Right. and... Uh, and he said, listen, let me show you this one. He said, this is the hottest one my dad's got. It was a little bottle like what you just showed. And he took the toothpick, he stuck it in the little bottle, and he put it on my tongue. And I swear, man, it, it was uh, it was the worst, horrible, unbearable experience that I've ever had in my life. Yeah, yeah some of them are the, the things I've tried have been so hot that I don't want to try them again. I yeah, made a, I wasn't going. To, I wasn't even going to think about putting it on my food and eating it. Right. I, mean, I made no a way. chili powder last year or earlier this year that was so hot I, I can't put it on anything. And when I do, it's because I forgot how hot it is, and my mouth is now numb for about an hour. <laughs> uh, uh. Yeah. Reminds it, me. Reminds me of the time I went uh, to Honduras in 2008, and I I made it on the other side of the Mexican border. And I'm in Mexico eating at the restaurant after being in line for a full day. And I sat down and they got two sauces. One's red, one's green. And I put a whole bunch of the, I don't remember which color I put on. I think it was a green one or whatever. And they said, you should try it before you put that much on there. And I said, I think I'll be all right. 
And man, I'll tell you what, I ate that food because I don't like throwing it away, but I almost ruined that meal. <laughs> uh, this yeah. meal is almost unbearable. Uh, I like to try all sauces on a, I don't know, a piece of tortilla or bread or whatever they have there before I even put it on anything so I at least have an idea. Yeah, well, I had to learn that the hard way. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it can be dangerous. I had a friend buy me a, a plate of hot wings at some bar here in Vegas like 20 years ago. And he asked the bartender for the hottest one they had. But he knew how hot they were going to be but didn't tell me what to expect. I got one in my mouth, ate about half of it before I needed a gallon of milk. They don't have milk at bars in Vegas. <laughs> no, no, no. Right, so you'd be, lucky, the, you'd be lucky if you find the milk. The, the guy figured out a way to get milk there from I don't know it's the place next door or whatever. That mm-hmm. was fucking deadly ass shit. It was thirteen dollars worth of seven chicken wings that nobody ate. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like Buffalo Wild Wings. You know, they're they're hottest hot. No, no, the hottest Spicy. hot of Buffalo Wild Wings is nothing. For real? Yeah. Oh not, man. Yeah. No, that, that's like man, my, barely even hot my little sauce. brother. My younger brother, he likes to go into there and and uh, eat them hottest of the hot and take his friends in there for the first time. And, <laughs> yeah, I don't touch that stuff, man. Yeah, I'm big on spicy foods. I like Thai chilies and stuff like that. Yeah? Well, I'll where'd, go, you where'd, you get, huh? where'd you get that bottle at? Oh, at some place on the highway between Arizona, Grand Canyon, and Las Vegas. Arizona, Grand Canyon, Las Vegas. Yeah, it's just a place on the highway on like 95, I think it was, just on the side of the road that you can shoot like big ass guns. Like, I don't know what they are, like M60s or whatever. The big ones that are mounted on uh, Apache helicopters. 50 cal? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you can shoot those there for like $200 for like 10 seconds worth of shooting. <laughs> And buy some hot sauce while you're at it. Yep. Yep. <laughs> or they also have a lot of Trump products there also. Hey, speaking of Trump. Hmm. Yep. What's up, Derek? What? <clears throat> oh, I know. Yeah, so in case anybody's watching this for the first time, I'm sitting here with my buddy, uh, this guy I've known uh, virtually through the internet, but we never met in person, and uh, he was uh, like the third person I tried to contact to bring on for a live split screen, and it just kind of serendipitously fell into this position where, you know, we're like in the mining community, and he's into cannabis, and I'm into both at the same time, and so, you know, we've been friends online. And, uh, you know, that's pretty much what it comes down to. Right, but, uh, just hanging John, out. John's a pretty cool guy. John's a pretty cool guy. The piece of shit internet did what now? Jeez. <laughs> oh. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to grab something yeah. real quick. Yep. Hey, it's a commercial on the game. All right. <laughs> Vegas Knights are still down by one point. Seven minutes into the second period. No, no. Seven minutes left in the second period. No major penalties that I can remember. What kind of rocks I have outside of the control, everybody? You got some rocks? Yeah. It's not too dark out yet, so... I'll grab something real quick. Show off something kind of nifty and rare. All right. Actually, there's one right here. Let me show you guys this rock here. All right, so this rock here, this is a ore that comes out of the Spring Mountain area. It's a sulfide ore that holds lots of different minerals. 
See if I can locate the section that shows the minerals on it and we can actually see it. But this is the mineralized zone on it right right there. It's got a lot of iron, osmium, and stuff like that in it. See if I can find a metal seam, because there are some on some of these. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, you're into that mining stuff, man. Yep. And here here's a metal seam right here on the on the vein of it. The black material here is where the platinum is deposited in here. It's also got silver, some other stuff, nickel. It's full of I just leave it sitting in the yard as a yard decoration. Why not? Why not? Why not? I have nothing else to you do with it because it's very hard to sell osmium ore because of the nature of the mineral. It's extremely poisonous once it's heated up. So. so tell me, tell me what you know. Tell me what you know about mushrooms, man. Well, they can help with anxieties and depressions and lots of other things in that areas. And they can also give you a good spiritual journey. Oh. Damn. Oh yeah. Whew. Sorry, somebody almost scored a point against us. Yeah. Oh man. Sorry, I got distracted. Me too, man. <laughs> <laughs> nah. So I was waiting in the middle of watching the hockey game, though. No, it's all good, man. You gotta love them sports, bro. Yeah, there's a little bit of relaxation time, you know. It'd be nice if they left politics and shit like that completely out of sports, but it seems like sports is where everybody's trying to go with their politics because people stopped worrying about politics and started caring about things that had nothing to do with it. Yeah, well, you know, you know, people are just trying to do the best they can, I think, is what's happening. And, and somebody's got a voice or a platform, and, you know, they just try to do what they can, you know what I mean? Right. Well, anyway, man, so what time is it? 6.37 here. What the hell time is that here? So you're in New York, right? Yeah, so it's 9.35, 9.35. here where I'm at, man. Yeah, yeah I guess my clock's off by a minute or two. Well, I mean, mindset just what what my, what my phone is. Right. But my kids are about to get tired and sleepy. Hey, what's yep. up, Ramon? You watching? And uh, but I wanted to show one other thing here on this video before I cut it. And uh, It's where I live, man, the city of Chelsea. So this is what I got, man. <clears throat> Gotta love how to read backwards, right? <laughs> Solomon's Treasure LLC. Nice. Derek, want more? Yeah. Come here. Yeah, it's uh, near the Grand Canyon. What, Solomon's Treasure near the Grand Canyon? Yep. <laughs> hey, man, I got to let you go, man. The kids are bombarding the room, and we get yep, ready yep. to roll for the night. And we're going to do some more of this, all right, bro? Yeah, yeah. Well, we'll try to do right, something more go. planned out. All right, man. We'll keep we'll keep being talking.